we have the yeah some of you guys are leaving a relationship yeah <laughs> nine i just saw the nine of pentacles some of you guys are leaving behind a toxic ass relationship detaching from something as a real resort of, as a result of this portal tomorrow mm -hmm. leaving an abusive toxic situation detachment freedom yeah independence yep taking back your power releasing something capricorn energy here oh i forgot to do my whole spiel so you know like i always say um, this will not resonate with everyone. If I do see specific zodiac signs come out, I will mention them, but this is not for a specific zodiac sign, okay? Um, and don't forget to check out the description box, um, especially if it's your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're interested in the channel membership and getting access to all my extended readings, so click the join button below, or there is a link in the description box. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? But yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are leaving things behind as a resort of this portal tomorrow. Like freeing yourself from toxicity, toxic relationships, toxic situations, detaching. Even if you're not with somebody, like you may feel like after this that you finally feel like you're able to release somebody, detach from somebody. Like I said, Capricorn energy here with the devil. We have the three of wands in reverse. So yeah, something that was keeping you stuck or blocked, an obstacle for you, something that was maybe very frustrating for you. Yeah, there was a lot of delays. That's coming to an end. So the delays are maybe coming to an end as well. If something's been stagnant or stuck, that's coming to an end as a resort of this portal, okay? We have um, Libra energy here, or yeah, Libra. Yeah, four of wands reverse. I can't make it up. Someone's leaving a commitment here. Someone's maybe making the, the decision to leave their husband or their toxic husband or their wife, a toxic marriage, a toxic relationship, a toxic living situation, toxic family. Um, yeah, I see all of that coming to an end here. Clarify the devil in reverse. Yeah, you guys are finally healing from something. So if this is not somebody that you're like literally physically with or like physically walking away from like tomorrow or right now, you're maybe like, you've been maybe grieving a situation. I feel like after this, or you're going to be feeling a lot more like healed. Like I see a lot of healing here, self-love. Yeah, releasing pain. Like you're, yeah, you're going to be overcoming something. Tell me about the three of wands in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Some of you guys have been like feeling like something isn't going to manifest for you, like in a pessimistic type energy. I'm going to get more clarity on the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Tell me about the world. Yeah, that, some type of block. Some type of block to you stepping into your full potential, like um, abundance. For some of you, there's some type of like dependence on others that's coming to an end. Um, yeah, because again, going back to that self-sufficiency independence, if somebody was like attached to somebody that was overbearing or um, depend, like someone was codependent or dependent on other people for something, that's coming to an end here. Tell me about the four of wands in reverse, the star in reverse. So yeah, there's like a lack of hope or there's a disconnection here. Like there's like, there's like no hope in a situation anymore. Like it's a done deal. King of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Swords on the back of the deck. Mm, somebody tried to get away with something here. Yep, somebody tried to get away with something here. What is, why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Wands. What about the Queen of Wands? See, someone is freeing themselves from some type of other person. So if this isn't you, just know that somebody that is in your energy is leaving something toxic or they're finally like overcoming something that that's kept them stuck and stagnant and bound for a long time. For some of you, like I said, it's a living situation or a marriage or something like that. Someone's finding, someone's free, finding their freedom, their independence here. But why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? The Fool, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Something is manifesting. Maybe you guys are taking the taking a leap of faith and like. How does the Queen of Swords relate to my collective? Five, five, five on the camera. Big major life changes coming in. Okay. Um, yeah, the Emperor in reverse. You guys are kind of like taking your power back here. You were being manipulated in some way. 
Somebody was trying to manipulate you into waiting on them. Tell me about this emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Yeah, it's like you stand, you're standing your ground. You're taking your power back here. Going cold on somebody. What is the three of wands in reverse? The ace of cups. You guys have new love coming in. And it could be because you guys are finally like healing from something here. Or yeah, you're learning to cope with something. What's this mean for my collective? Yeah, you're finally moving on from something. Like, I don't know how else to put it. You guys are finally making moving on from something that was unfulfilling. All right, or this is somebody that's in your energy. How does this relate to my collective? The Six of Cups. Yeah, the death. Something from the past is coming to an end. Some type of uh, unfairness or dishonor. Like, something that we're in, there was an injustice done towards you. That situation is coming to an end or something here. Libra energy, Scorpio energy. There's some type of truth coming out here, possibly about a third party where somebody did you dirty. I'm telling you, something's coming to an end or there's going to be like truth revealed about a third party. Some type of deception or something where some so there was an injustice done towards you or somebody was like not taking accountability for this. What does this mean for whoever is in their energy? Yeah, tell me more. Could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sag. They're going through um some misfortune here. Okay, guys. They're going through some bad bad karma right now. Some challenges. Um Yeah, what is, tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune reverse. What are they working on? What about the, yeah, definitely could be a fire sign. See, they're these, they're the ones. This could not even be you guys. This could be somebody in your energy who was still attached to some type of third party. The third party could have been very manipulative or like a better person or something like that, like deceitful. I don't know. But it's like they're the ones that are leaving behind. They're trying to work on leaving behind some type of unfulfilling situation here. I don't feel like this is you. So what Spirit wants you to know is that there's a person in your energy that is wanting to manifest something with you. They are still holding on to you. You guys may feel this. They're in the process of, they're about to find their independence from a situation that's toxic. It was toxic anyways. They're not happy in that situation. They're about to walk away from that or they're finally moving on from that. They're releasing that. They're detaching from something here. So what does this mean for my collective going forward? Okay, what does this mean for my collective going forward? Um, I don't even want to get into that just yet. Let's see. What is, tell me what this means to my collective. Yeah, the time is now. It is time to act now without hesitation, move past the old and move forward. What's this mean for my collective? Tell me more. Cosmic hatching. What you've been waiting for is ready to be. Your patience is about to be rewarded. I'm like, yeah. You guys are kind of growing impatient with some something here. Growing pessimistic about something coming in. This could be very um similar to I did a um a collective reading a few days ago that was similar to this. Like you guys are maybe growing impatient thinking that something is never going to happen. But it's like someone's finally moving on from something from their past here. And it's like what you've been waiting for is about to come in. Tell me more about that. It's like there's been something in incubation. that I've been saying this for months. Whatever this is that's been an incubation for you. See how it's, it's about to hatch. It's about to be, be birthed here. Something is about to be birthed. Why is this happening now? Enchanted illusions. See through the veil of illusions and have the courage to see things as they really are. So that's why. It's because you guys are seeing something for what it really is now. So now something is coming in for you. This could just be even be a new beginning. Express your divine feminine energy and loving wisdom will transform your life. We have soul family. Yeah, you're about to meet your soul family or your soul mate, your twin. I don't know. Prepare to meet those who share similar frequency levels as you. Perseverance. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Awaken your inner bull to give you patience. Taurus energy here. Stag spirit. 
You are meant for great things. Trust in all that you have to offer. Divine intervention. Okay, so what about soul family? Nurture, nurture all you love. Take time to care for your well-being and nurture the things you love. Cancer energy. Lone wolf. So it's kind of like they're wanting you to kind of like tend to your own garden type thing here. Because it says listen to your inner wolf and embrace your sacred, sacred wild nature that thirsts for freedom. Yeah. Be aware of what you're weaving in your life to create better experiences. So what does this have to do with this, whatever the situation is that they're leaving behind? Is this them leaving this behind? Yeah, you're choosing a path here. There are many paths before you, but you may only choose one. So, yeah, shift your way of thinking and tackle the issue from a different angle. Bear tree. So you guys are making the decision here to shift your focus or move away from a situation that isn't bearing any fruit. You've put a lot, you've been waiting, you've been patient. Um, but it's like now you're maybe getting, wanting to like maybe explore other options here. That's what I'm saying. Like you're no longer putting all your eggs in one basket with this situation because it's, you don't see it turning into anything. You're growing pessimistic that it will turn into anything. But it's like right now you need to search and explore. It's okay to wander until you find home. So yeah, like you guys are going to maybe be getting out there and like exploring other options. But it says ultimate fulfillment. You are now entering a time of peace, happiness, and emotional fulfillment. You're overcoming something. You're finally going to be letting somebody go or walking away from something. It says be willing to honestly say what you feel no matter how terrifying it may seem. Courage. Boost your courage so you can put yourself out there in a bigger way. Huh. What you've asked for is coming true. Your wish is about to manifest. Plan, scheme, and strategize your future and take the next action for your right for your life. Unlocking solutions through compromise, you will create the successful outcome you're hoping for. See, there's two conflicting energies here. Like I see you guys opening up to the possibility of other options, but then I also see that what you're what you've been wanting is going to come in too. So I feel like that's what Spirit is saying. Like you're going to end up having a choice between like what you've been wanting is going to manifest, but you will also have the opportunity or the choice to like explore, like to venture off on another path and explore other options. What do they need to know about if they choose this person that they've been waiting on? If they choose this person they've been waiting on, it says pay attention to the signs, messages, and guidance that come to you at night. So tell me more. We have Capricorn challenges. It will not be an easy path, but you will build discipline. So Spirit is saying that like, I guess like you will get to where you want to be with this person, but they're telling you that it's going to be difficult with this person or this, whatever this path is, the one that you've been really hoping and waiting for. You will have the opportunity to do that, but they're telling you it's not going to be an easy path. Yeah, because you and this person still have like some existing differences that will maybe cause disharmony between the two of you. But it says, as the moon grows, so can your wealth, health, and happiness stay positive. Like Spirit is saying that, so you have the choice. Spirit says you can either like, something will eventually manifest the way you want in this situation with this person. So you can choose to keep entertaining that or you can choose to explore other options. What is making this, so what is bringing in this wish fulfillment though all of a sudden with this person? It's just because of the portal. Yeah, we have perseverance coming out again and then we have scales of balance. Find balance within yourself. So it's, that's what it is. You're finding balance within yourself and things are starting to balance out around you. Yeah, it's like you're, yeah, it's like you're being the creative creator of your own life now. Yeah, maybe it's because you're setting better, like more boundaries now. There's something here about something's changing. Set and honor your boundaries to avoid being taken advantage of. All right. So, hmm, interesting. What? So I need to know what's going. So I, I, what's this? Well, tell me about the other path. That's not this one that they've been wishing for. Tell me about the other path. Yeah, tricky situations. A sly approach is necessary in order to navigate tricky situations. Cosmic, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I feel like some of you guys, I don't know. It's almost like Spirit is saying that they, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's going on with this person. Whoever this this person, this other situation, I feel like it's a person. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, What do they need to know about this, Spirit? Yeah. 
Okay, we have divine intervention here. Somebody, um, this person, whoever this person is, they're going through a lot of upheaval in their life. It could be a Taurus. I'm pretty sure a Taurus had a, a reading like this. And to the Taurus card kept coming out. So it says they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. All right. Anything else that they need to know about this person? See mixed signals. The cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you that they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. Hmm. So you were dealing with somebody that wasn't sure about you. Yeah, we have the journey. This love journey may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. So it's like, it's like in the end, Spirit is saying that you guys will be able to make this work, but yeah, ancestral karma. They are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. Yeah, twin flame. I already knew this was going to come out. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants unions as much as you do. They need to get more in tune with their higher self. But yeah, they betrayed you in some way, possibly. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. So yeah, they have a dark side. They have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. So tell me more about this betrayal. Taming the beast. You make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Marriage on the back of the deck. They see you as marriage material. Some, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. Yeah, they regret. They have regrets for something that they did. They they maybe fell into their shadow or their the yeah, other shadow aspect or whatever. Like they, they did something maybe like they indulged in their dark side somehow. It says they're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. So what, are, what can they expect to happen going forward? This person knows that they have to come towards you different. What do they need to know about going forward in, in regards to the Lionsgate portal? What do they need to know about this person? Passion ignited. So it says their intense sexual desire towards you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. So they're still confused. Yeah, they're still confused about you. And one more. What else do they need to know? Okay, that's two more. I mean, that's too many. <laughs> All right, yeah, they think you're very beautiful, but they're still very guarded. So I feel like, um, yeah, a brooding, they're leaving all that is familiar to them or, or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. They are aligning to the frequency of love and operating at a high frequency vibration with openness to receiving. They are going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and this connection. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them hold back or makes them run. They're watching you too. They're keeping tabs on you, having this love for you that they're not telling you about. But it says they don't want to, you to give up now when you've come this far because it all will be worth it in the end. So, okay, what does this have to do with guarded though? They're still guarded though. The present energy, old wounds. Yeah, they're still, they still have a lot of healing to do, okay? Um, what's this mean for their connection with my collective though? Currently, the current... You met your divine flame. You just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. So it's like, I don't know if this is some. So what do they need to, in the present moment though? Or should they be, what should they be doing in regards to this person? Yeah, what you, I told you guys were starting to think this was something that was never going to happen. When you thought to, when you thought, what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. Brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. Mm. So they are leaving something behind to be with you. Like they're, 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 yeah, it could be a long-term relationship. It could be everything, everything that was keeping them away from you. They're going to be leaving that behind. But in this present moment, I feel like you will have a choice. Give me more clarity on what this choice is that that's surrounding this Lionsgate portal. Ah, something to do with possibly, it says the witch. They see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell. So some of you guys are going to be doing manifestation work. So what Spirit is saying here, guys, is you can manifest the outcome that you want with this person. Okay? Like, I'm not saying that you need to try to manipulate this person. Free, whatever. You can just, like, you know, pray. Like, you know, whatever you do to manifest. Set intentions. Pray. Whatever it is. But Spirit is saying that some of you guys have the ability to shift the situation in your favor. Okay, I'm going to just let you know that. You guys have the power and, um, yeah, tell me more about Love Spell or the witch. Children? What is children and the witch? Justice? Why is children? I don't... 
music. I don't understand what children is here for them. Boundaries. Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. Hmm. So maybe some of you, they were going through a situation in regards to their children. They needed to get that situation resolved first. Yeah. Whenever the witch card comes out, that means that you guys have the ability to manifest something in this situation. Yeah, like to get the outcome that you want. Yeah. We are hoping this connection evolved to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. Where is the other deck I want to use? Shed more light sphere on these two paths that this person that this they have to choose. There's like something here about you having a choice. You don't, you know, you don't have to wait for this person. You don't have to, even if they are your twin. Give me more clarity on what this choice is. So we have the battlefield. It's like you have a choice to continue to like keep fighting for this person or keep trying to make something work with them. It says the battlefield fighting arguments, disagreements, not on the same page. Tell me more. Two hearts falling in love. The feeling is mutual, equal effort. Okay. Pretty bride, commitment, wedding, marriage. They choose you. Okay. How are we getting to that point? Yeah, they're going to want to offer you something. They want to offer you something more traditional. So what about that battlefield energy, though? Not see, not, what about Calm Storm? Ghosted? What does that do with my collective? Safe place? What does this mean for them? It's whoever this person is in their energy. Mmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's something here about alchemy. You guys have like spiritual gifts or you guys are witches or you manifestors. But it says you can create something out of nothing. Alchemy, reviving what was lost. Yeah, unbreakable bond, strong and stable relationship, a love to last a lifetime. Huh, someone's scared of losing you. You're getting fed up. I don't know, guys. This is kind of confusing. Let me be honest with you. There's some type of miracle that's unfolding. Some of you guys are choosing to stay single. Why is that? They're choosing to stay single. Tell me about that. Yeah, and it's like they're going to return. Tell me about the return. It's like somebody's returning here, but you guys are maybe going to choose. Yeah, you're going to choose to choose yourself. Wow, that's why we have all this independence energy here. So somebody is returning to you, but you're going to choose you. You're going to choose to stay disconnected from this person. But Spirit says there's a miracle unfolding for you. So they're going to choose to stay single. And then what? what then what's going to happen? You're, gonna, you're not going to, yeah. See, you're, either you're about to find what you, you not choosing yourself and choosing this situation with this person. I don't know. It's like it was, you're about to like quickly get into another relationship. What's this mean for their twin, this twin, can, or whoever this person is? Yeah, rebirth process, self-discovery. They're about to go through a dark night of the soul. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is that, like, somebody is about to come back. Somebody's going to be coming towards you acting very nonchalant. But they feel like they, there's a lack of closure. Someone's going to be feeling very rejected. Or somebody already is feeling very rejected by you. Tell me about Calm Storm. Or you guys are going to be acting very unfazed. Yeah, breaking point. Somebody's been trying to play it off like they're not phased or keep stay in control. But Spirit says somebody's at their breaking point. Yeah, somebody's at their breaking point. What about the Radiant Sun? Yeah, they're going to take a risk and do what? So yeah, someone from your past is about to take a risk. And do what are they doing here? 
they're going to want to try to clean up their life. And what is this? See, weary, guarded. This person, I don't know, guys. I see them returning to you. I'll be honest. But I see you choosing somebody else. Who did I just do a reading for this morning? It was similar to this. I think it was, um, oh, who was it? It was Leo. When I did Leo this morning, it was similar to this. I feel like somebody's about to come back around. What is their intentions with this return? What's their intentions with this return? They want to express something to you. They're going to want to come up with like a solution. But just know that it's like things are just not going to be. They're going to want to take things extremely, extremely slow with you. Like there things are going to progress extremely slow with this person. Or they're telling you that it's not the right time. Like it's just still not the right time for you and this person to come together. Yeah, they still need to clear their energy. They still have somebody that they need to either cut off. They need to cut something or someone off. They need to clear away the old. They need to get a divorce. They need to go through a breakup. So I, why are they coming? They're probably coming towards you because they're getting jealous. Why is this person coming towards my collective if they're in another? If they have all that shit going on. It's like they want They don't want this to be like, see, for some of you, they're, they have lustful desires. That already came out. They're very passionate about you. But like, what about straw into gold? Read between the lines and yeah. They could maybe see you going out and socializing with your friends. Yeah. And they're not, they feel, they don't like this at all. They feel, it's invoking negative emotions in them, okay? So, it's like this, you rejecting this person and choosing your stuff, yourself is sending this person into a dark night of the soul, like a self-discovery rebirth process, okay? Tell me about perfect match. What does this perfect match mean for this past person? Is it them? Left out in the cold, ready to give up. Yeah, what does that have to do with perfect match? Victory. What does this have to do with this past person? The final dance. They're going to want another chance. Yeah, they're going to want to bring justice to a situation with you. Yeah, they know that they hurt you. But why is Collector of Hearts here? I don't like that. Yeah, I feel like they were like not ready to settle down, but it's like when they do come back to you after this, I feel like you're setting strong boundaries now. Yeah, I feel like what they, they're going to come back towards you different. I don't know, guys. I feel like for some of you, you may be choosing yourself and then you guys maybe even have like a transitional relationship coming in. Like you're going to be maybe quick, quickly moving into another relationship or something like that. If it's not that, you guys are just going to be going on a journey of independence, which I, which I do see that, okay? I see lots of energy of you guys getting out of a toxic cycle or a toxic situation, detaching from a toxic person, somebody that's not good for you, finding your freedom, finding your independence, all right? And just kind of choosing you over this person because you just know that this person isn't ready. Why is my collective choosing to not go back into a cycle with this person? Yeah, because you're skeptical. It says hesitation, skepticism, pessimism. Tell me more. Yeah, and it's like the divine is some type of divine guidance or something that you're getting about this person. Yeah, taking control of a situation. Let's have to do why they're rejecting this person. Yeah, it's just a part of the divine plan. It's like you're meant to be with this person, and this love and this connection has transformed you and this person. But, but there's a but. It's not the right time. Tell me, it's not. Yeah, this person is like, they're just, you're dealing with a very emotionally unavailable person and they don't feel good enough for you, okay? So and you guys are just not on the same page right now. So what about going forward? Yeah, they're going to want to give you a proper offering in the future. This person just knows that right now they don't have too much to offer you. Um, Yeah, something to do with like, they need to go through some spiritual lessons here. Tell me about religious factors. They're not ready. That's all I can say. Yeah. What is this breaking point? What's this mean for my collective? I'm telling you. 
what's making this person come towards you, they're still like in this procrastination, lack of taking action, reluctance to put in an, an effort type energy. But, and they still have a lot of lessons to learn. Like, tell me more about religious factors for this person. Because I don't, what does this have to do with religious factors? Whatever they're about to go through is about to, is going to, in the future, make them come forward and give you the recognition that you deserve. It's going to make them want to, yeah, it's like they, they need to go through some lessons that's going to make them, like, more open-hearted. Tell me more about this. Yeah, born healer. What does this have to do with religious factors? All seeing eye, truth and clarity, secret at my unaware of the fear of rejection. Hmm. Oh my no, guys. They're gonna be back. All right. They're gonna be back in a lot more of a confident energy too. But it's gonna I see you going on a journey of like self-discovery and alone for a while. And it's definitely coming out for a lot of people in signs lately. And it's like, what's gonna make this person come towards you? They know that they're not ready to open up to you, right? They're they're not in a place to be able to accept this genuine and love this genuine love that you get. They don't feel deserving of it. This person's getting pissed off. They're losing sleep over you. They're feeling pushed to their breaking point. They're they're worried because they they feel like you're meeting new people. Especially if they come in and you reject them, they're gonna really feel or you ignore them, they're gonna really feel like it's because you've met somebody else or you're dating other people. Like there's this energy of like this person being pissed the hell off. Feeling like you did them dirty, frustrated, annoyed, anger, and resentment because they see you networking. All right. They see you meeting new people. They see you going out and having fun with your friends. And they're literally losing sleep over this, guys. They're losing sleep over this. It's pushing them to their breaking point and it's making them want to come in and do something like take a risk or do something impulsive here when they still, they are only able to offer you this indecision, lack of consistency on and off relationship. And this is maybe something that happens all the time. This person just knows that you're very beautiful. They they do desire you sexually. They they are very attracted to you. They know that you're very attracted to other people. And I feel like it, it just it makes them literally lose sleep at night. But I feel like you guys are in this like with this Lions Gate portal, you're getting fed up with this person and the this cycle that they keep trying to put you through. So I feel like you guys are about to bring in some some new energy here. You guys are going to be in this new energy when this person tries to come towards you with this old energy or this old cycle, and you're going to be handling it differently. Tell me about safe place. Yeah, this person's expecting like to get like the same. It's like you give them like a. They kind of felt like there was a sense of security around this cycle that you guys have been in. Like they just thought that this was some. This cycle would always be there for them to indulge in, but there things are changing here. Yeah. What about Sacred Emerald? Yeah, someone's about to start connecting with their higher self. Why? Yeah, this person just, they, they have karmics around them or something. Tell me about karmic ties. They're going to start realizing what is for them and what isn't for them. What does Queen Bee mean for karmic ties? They're they're in loss over you. They're, they're going to be feeling, they're going to, if they chose a karmic over you, or they're feeling that they feel like their time is running out. Yeah, they feel like their time is running out, but at the same time, they miss you. Yeah, they're missing you. They could have even tried to like move on from you, find somebody to replace you. It's not working. Or maybe they know that you are doing that. Yeah, it's like this energy of somebody is feeling very stressed out around this portal or will be after this portal, feeling pressured, feel like they need to take some type of action because they feel like you are rebounding. They feel like you are literally actively trying to move on from them. It's like they want you to be codependent on them. They don't like that. They feel like you are making new connections. Yeah, like 